building a floating house foundation with pure ingenuity. It is said that a few wooden sticks pried vertically into the mud can set the foundation. By tying a tight rope around them to maintain alignment, the digging begins. After a full day of work, 12 large rectangular pits, each over half a meter deep, take shape. Next, reinforced steel bars are woven into dense, sturdy nets and carefully placed into each pit. Don't forget to position four half bricks underneath to free up space. Then erect a steel cage in the center for support, securing it firmly in place. Bamboo and wooden boards create a bridge, allowing people and vehicles to transport concrete smoothly into each pit, ensuring a uniform pour with no gaps or bubbles. Once the concrete solidifies overnight, the one meter high steel cage is wrapped with wooden support boards. The cement and gravel mix is poured in, and after two days of hardening, the wooden boards are removed, maximizing their reuse. Now the pillar work begins, a seemingly simple but essential step. Keeping the entire structure level, they carefully extend the frame, effectively building a solid foundation for a floating house right in their fish pond, all in under a week. Without a single man's help, a mother and daughter achieved this feat, showcasing their incredible craftsmanship and intelligence. Not only was it strong and durable, but it also saved money and labor. The wisdom of skilled hands is truly remarkable. What do you think?